What is up, Leaf Nation? I'm your host, Killer Leafy, and let's get Roy into the news. Yesterday was Christmas, and on Twitter, just like a bunch of merchant peddlers, everyone tweeted Merry Christmas, but this dude is a hacker. Also in the news, Idubs wants to fight rice gum IRL for charity. For the past four months, I have been grinding nonstop. I have been flying to LA, Las Vegas, having meetings over Zoom, meeting up with boxing managers, boxing promoters. So this is pretty much my last attempt reasoning with rice gum. Uh, you're m earning more money than anyone else on the card. Uh, my money's going to charity, so I'm like, it's a good cause. Um, it's gonna be a hella amazing event. Rice gum was going to earn more than anyone else, okay? I'm not taking a salary on this boxing event. My earnings are going to pay all the other fighters and for charity. Charity is great. I finally am able to contact him. He says uh, things like, oh, my neck is sore. Okay, wh what? From playing Fortnite? Why is your neck sore? And why do I give a shit if your neck is sore? He's talking about how it's not enough money. And I'm like, what do you mean not enough money? He wants like a million plus dollars. And I'm like, Ricegum, you're a gangly loser that has zero boxing experience. And you're not even very famous. Why the fuck do you think any network is going to pay you a million dollars plus to fight? Finally, after four months of searching, I find a guy who can set up a bomb ass event. The boxing promoter and I reach out to Ricegum and we say, we're ready. We're ready to set up this event. And what does Ricegum do? He ghosts the boxing promoter repeatedly. He ghosts me repeatedly. Okay, so Ricegum would be earning the most, hands down yet he's still wimping out. I'm trying to tell him all the upside. I'm like, dude, you could sell merch? You can turn me into the alien from Family Guy, get knocked out on the front of a t-shirt. You could sell that and make a lot of revenue. But he, he's so focused on getting money for like just existing. And it's like, you don't make money from just existing. You actually have to do the, the tiniest bit of work to leverage it. And who knows, maybe if you win, you'll make even more money. Think about the opportunities. You can then fight Jake Paul, beat him, then fight Logan Paul. Think about all the opportunities there are. Anyways, Ricegum responded, pretty much calling him broke. <laughs> also in the news, Kim starts flexing how many Fortnite skins he has. Oh, for the people asking me what skins I own, these are the, these are the skins I own. That one right there was like one of my favorites. That one right there. Thanks for watching, everyone. Subscribe for more news. I come and steal, bitch, my pockets feel a hundred bill. I'm in the hills, bitch, my soldiers did a hundred mil. They're telling me to stop flexing, but I'm starting still. I ran it up all of a sudden, bitches want to chill. Hey! I mean, you never know, though. Ricegum might actually end up fighting him. You never know. Some people have something to prove.